Lesson 8, Selection Sort. The selection sort algorithm is relatively simple and works like this. Given that we have an array of entries, search for the smallest element and swap it into the first position. For this explanation, we show the entry that we are testing in gray and highlight the sorted entries in white. After this, we search the remaining elements for the next smallest element and swap it into the second position. Continue by finding each next smallest element and swapping it into the next position until the array is completely sorted. That's a quick overview of the algorithm. Now we'll look at the algorithm in more detail and show how it works on actual data. We begin with an array of sortable entries. For simplicity, we use an array of integers. To perform the selection sort, we will need an extra integer to store the index of the smallest entry that we have found so far. To make this clear, we will use an arrow to indicate the entry as well. We start by looping over all of the entries and setting the integer index to each smaller entry that we find. Once we reach the end of the array, the integer holds the index of the smallest entry in the array. So we swap it into the first position to get our first sorted element. Next, we initialize the second entry as our smallest and test it against the remaining entries. When we reach the end, our second smallest entry has been selected, so we swap it into the second position. We continue this procedure for the third smallest entry and so on until we reach the end of the array. At this point, all of the entries are sorted and the algorithm is finished. Finally, we look at the C++ implementation of the selection sort. This code is available on our website on this lesson page where you can copy and paste the program into a simple console project to test it for yourself. First, we have a print array function that we call just to output the array so that you can see what it looks like before and after we sort it. This code is straightforward and just loops over the entries of an array and prints them with two spaces between each entry. In the main function, we declare an array of seven integers to test our sorting algorithm. We declare an int to hold the length of the array. Then we call print array to output the unsorted array. After this, we have the selection sort code. This code begins with the loop over the entries of the array. This loop is used to select each next smallest entry in the array and swap it into its position. Inside the loop, we declare an integer called smallest that we use to hold the index of the smallest remaining integer. By default, this index is initialized to the first remaining unsorted entry. Next, we loop over the remaining entries to find the index of the smallest remaining entry and set the index smallest to it. Once we have the index of the smallest remaining entry, we swap it into its position. These three lines accomplish the swap. Looping over each of the entries in the array finishes the algorithm. Of course, we don't need to iterate over the last entry of the array because a single entry is automatically sorted. With the sort finished, we print the array again to show that it was sorted. Executing the program, we see the array before and after it was sorted.